Welcome everyone to the 2021 George Awards. I'm Derek van Rensburg, Dean of the Graz Studio Business School, and it's my true pleasure to have you all join us at today's event. While we're not able to be together in person, we're very excited to host our first ever virtual George Awards. And I'm truly honored that you've taken the time out of your day to join us here. And I look forward to when we can be together again in person soon. Each year, the George Awards affords us the opportunity to recognize and celebrate our best and our brightest. It's a momentous day that reminds us that anything is possible and to always follow our dreams and our aspirations. George Grazadio would often say, if better is possible, then good is not enough. And so we are continually faced with asking ourselves, is better possible? This propels us to keep moving forward no matter the obstacles, and always strive for greatness. I truly believe George would have been so proud if he were with us here today. At Grazadio, we focused on developing best for the world leaders. And you may ask yourself, so what is a leader who is best for the world? Well, they're visionaries, they possess an eye for opportunity, identifying and catalyzing unseen business opportunities, they're entrepreneurial, and they're innovative. But importantly, they engage in socially, environmentally, and ethically responsible business practices to formulate decisions with the best interests of all stakeholders in mind. These leaders act with integrity always, with courage, with compassion, and lead with a pioneering, courageous spirit. Those that we are honoring at today's event embody best for the world leaders. And I'm honored to recognize the 2021 George Award recipients. And so proud to serve as Dean of a school that's mission is to promote transformational learning, create applied knowledge and equip our students to become best for the world leaders and entrepreneurs. I'd now like to pass over the mic to my friend, Dr. Robert Woodcock, Spiritual Life Officer at Grazadio Business School for our invocation. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Those were the words of encouragement from a spiritual leader to his followers during the early days of the Christian church in which Rome ruled the world with an iron fist and slavery permeated every aspect of society. The Apostle encourages his followers, many of them slaves, to view their work in this volatile environment as service to God and not human masters. The U.S. Army War College introduced the concept of VUCA to describe the more volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous multilateral world perceived as resulting from the end of the Cold War. VUCA was first used in 1987, drawing on the leadership theories of Warren Bennis and Bert Nannis. I think it is safe to say that things have never been more VUCA in recent American history. And yet we have much to be grateful for at Grazia Dio in this extra VUCA environment. Mainly the people, the staff, faculty, and leadership team all have worked tirelessly to make the well-being of our people a top priority, whether it's been the staff and faculty who shepherd students through an entirely virtual experience, or the leadership team trying to meet the stringent demands of the university to save millions of dollars in our budgets and maintain our most valuable asset, our people. And today we want to honor those at Grazia Dio who have added a little extra shine to their work and service to others in the midst of such volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and ambiguity. So remember, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us for the live stream of the 2021 George Award Ceremony. I congratulate all of our award winners with particular admiration to our students for having persevered in your studies. This has certainly been the most tumultuous year we've experienced since I first became a professor at Pepperdine. I also wanna thank the dedicated faculty and staff of the Grazia Dio School for likewise persevering through challenges and staying committed to providing the highest quality educational opportunities possible, no matter what. Despite the restrictions we had to face, 
we were still able to welcome a number of prestigious speakers to share their thoughts and ideas with our university community, in addition to holding a wide variety of valuable career development and networking events. You and our students have brought honor to our entire university through your hard work and dedication. We put George Graziadillo's name on these awards for the same reason that we put his name on our business school, because his values, ethics, and spirit set an example for business people and entrepreneurs everywhere. George proved that you could become incredibly successful by doing business the right way. He prided himself on the fact that his company, Imperial Bank Corp, extended loans to hardworking blue-collar Californians other banks ignored, and he shared his great wealth with communities and organizations throughout the Southland. We at Pepperdine could aim for no greater achievement than to see George's example live on in our students, alumni, and faculty alike. Students, I want you to know that we at Pepperdine will be here to support you in your efforts to carry on that legacy. We've had to be your virtual home for this past year or so, but we're still your home. Your professors, mentors, and friends will always be here to counsel you through your challenges and dilemmas, and to join you in celebrating your triumphs. In closing, I'd like to thank our sponsors, the Grazia Dio Board and our title sponsor, the Penta Building Group, for making today's awards possible. I'm now pleased to turn it over to Paul Dutmer, director of the Los Angeles Penta Building Group and esteemed member of the Grazia Dio Board. Thank you, Dean Von Rensburg and President Gash for the gracious introduction. I'm Paul Dutmer, Grazia Dio Board Member and director of the Penta Building Group's Los Angeles region. Penta is very proud to be the title sponsor for this year's George Awards. Recognize the outstanding achievements of students, alumni, and faculty. Achievements and honor the legacy of the school's beloved benefactor, George Graziadillo. On behalf of the Penta Building Group and our president, John Canito, who's another proud Graziadillo board member, we congratulate this year's winners and wish you all much continued success. Thank you. I am very honored to welcome each of you to this special Digital George Awards presentation. I want all of you to know that if my dad were here speaking in my place, to each of you, George Award honorees, he would really want to meet you personally. He would look you in the eye, extend his hand, and he would want to get to know each of you. He'd be very interested in your future plans, and when you were done talking, you'd feel as if you and he were good friends. And trust me, he would continue to stay in contact if you were to reach out to him, that's my dad, he truly cared about people. In this way, my father developed lots of friends from business and from every aspect of his life. Once when I was riding in an elevator at one of his bank locations, and my dad was talking to the man operating the elevator, my dad asked how the man's wife and children were, and he introduced me as his daughter, and it was like the two of them were best of friends. That was how my father was, always reaching out and caring about people and interested in everybody he would meet. At this very special event, on behalf of the Grazadio family and on behalf of my dad, George Grazadio, we want to extend our deepest appreciation for your accomplishments, for deserving your individual George Awards, and we wish you tremendous success in all of your future endeavors. We look forward to hopefully meeting each of you in person in the very near future. Congratulations to all of you. Greetings, I'm Morgan Rector and I proudly serve on the Graziadio board and I wanted to share a bit of my experience working for George Graziadio. I first met George when I was about 28 years old. After graduating from college, I had spent about five years in banking and had developed a specialty in the entertainment industry lending field. While I was relatively young and inexperienced, I had some ambitious ideas around building a dedicated entertainment banking group and ultimately got connected with George and Imperial Bank. Looking back on those discussions with him, it would be fair to say my presentation to the bank was somewhat half-baked and scattered. But the big idea was a good one, and George zeroed in on that. Entertainment was a substantial industry in the Imperial Bank footprint, Building an entertainment-based portfolio would help diversify Imperial's overall loan portfolio. And being a niche business, we might be able to demand higher returns. Of course, there was risk, but we could manage that. Shockingly, George brought me on board at Imperial, and with his guidance, we tightened up the strategy and began growing the business. Those early days were not easy, but George's confidence and belief in me and my team helped us persevere. 
I remember thinking if George Grazadillo was confident it would work, I guess it's going to work. And that is what a leader does. He saw the big picture and built a culture of support and optimism that we all needed to help us through the invariable ups and downs of building an idea into a successful business. He gave you confidence that if you just kept working hard at it, it was going to work. And I watched him do that over and over again at Imperial. He had built up the bank, its systems and procedures, its capitalization and its brand in the market, then incubated business after business like mine to help grow the bank and provide opportunities for its employees and to support the communities we serviced. Now Imperial Bank was acquired by Comerica Bank back in 2001, and it'd be easy to think that that was the end of the story. But that entertainment group I talked about earlier is still operating as one of the largest providers of banking solutions to the industry. We've had over 100 employees come through that business and essentially learn entertainment lending. Many of those colleagues have gone on to lead entertainment lending teams at other banks. And the technology and life sciences business George got started in the 90s is still running and one of the most successful in the business today. And I could say the same about many other lines of business he got started at Imperial. Those businesses are still running and wouldn't be, but for George. And, and this is important, his approach, his philosophy, his vision, not only were integral to the start of those businesses, but are still driving the success of those businesses today. And that's the legacy of George, and I get to see it every day. Finally, I'd like to congratulate our remarkable winners and encourage you to carry forward in your endeavors with confidence, good character, and perseverance. Take pride in the award that bears George Graziadio's name and let it inspire you to achieve the very best. Thank you. Hi, my name is Daniel Riccardelli and I am a recent graduate of Pepperdine's BSM program and currently enrolled in the university's MBAJ program. I am incredibly honored and humbled to be a recipient of this year's George Award. First and foremost, I wanna thank my wife, Anna, for her incredible support throughout this journey. Without her and her constant inspiration, I would not be here today. My time spent at Pepperdine Grazia Dio Business School has been nothing short of amazing. Along the way, I have met incredible people, made close friends, and learned from some of the best and most highly accomplished professors and business minds. Best of all, I learned about myself, my strengths, my weaknesses, and how I could best serve my community. I am so incredibly thankful to the Pepperdine community all that it stands for, and all it has given me in return. In receiving this award, I promise to give back in any way that I can by serving as a model for integrity, ethics, hard work, and everything that the Grazia Udio community stands for. Thank you, and God bless. I am honored Pepperdine Grazia Udio Business School staff selected me as a recipient of the George Award. This award is meaningful to me because I've dreamed of attending Pepperdine as a teenager and after many years, it's unbelievable to fulfill this dream and be recognized by a school I love. This award is also meaningful because I admire Mr. Grassadio's story. I try to demonstrate his core values of integrity, courage with compassion, and resolve to make a difference in my daily walk. I want to thank Pepperdine Grassadio Business School for this award and the fantastic educational experience. I also want to thank my family for the support and patience they've afforded me on this journey. Lastly, and most importantly, I'd like to thank God for his continued blessings and the strength and courage he's given me to go out each day and live out Mr. Grassadio's words of today, not tomorrow. Thank you. Wow, this is an incredible award to receive. I'd like to thank Pepperdine Grazia Dio Business School for awarding me the 2021 George Award for Outstanding Full-Time MBA Student. First, I'd like to thank my professors who challenged me and pushed me throughout the entire program. I've learned so much from each and every one of you, and I am truly thankful for all the incredible advice and words of wisdom that you all have given me throughout this journey. Second, I want to give a huge shout out to all my amazing classmates who also challenged me and made me a better person every single day. I've learned so much from you all. I'm very thankful and humbled by this award because I know there are many other hardworking and deserving students in my class, so I'm thankful to receive this recognition. I would also like to extend a sincere thank you to our wonderful Dean, the Grazia Dio Board, 
Karen Weiss, Diane Single, Professor Gia Weisdorn, Jonathan Kogler, and Yuri Adamov for all the time they have spent with me and my fellow classmates. You all have played a vital role in my success here at Pepperdine, and I am eternally grateful for all your hard work that you continue to put into our wonderful program. Finally, I'd like to thank God, my family, and all my loved ones for all their continued support. I wouldn't be here without their immense support, which they continue to provide me every single day. In closing, thank you all for this incredible recognition. This is something that I will cherish for the rest of my life. It is truly an honor to be here today. I would like to thank Pepperdine for awarding me the 2021 George Award in the online MBA program. I am so grateful to have this award presented to me, and I could not have done this without the help and, and support of, from the amazing people at Pepperdine, my fellow classmates, and my family. In many ways, this is a double win I share with my fellow cohorts as this transformational program has soared in the rankings this year. I have deep admiration and tremendous respect for all of the alumni that I call friends. Your encouragement and guidance along the way has made me so grateful to be a part of this wonderful experience at the Grazia Dio Business School. Thank you to all of the professors and especially Professor Hall. Your support helped me through a challenging course and gave me a new perspective for quantitative analysis. To my fellow classmates, I appreciate your hard work, talent, and willingness to work alongside me. I know there are many students equally talented and deserving of this reward. What an honor it is for me to be recognized by all of you, and thank you for allowing me to be a part of this community. I look forward to the day I may be a help to future MBA students, just as all of you have been a help to me. Thank you very much. I'm grateful for this George Award. In fact, if you'd asked me over the last two years whether I'd imagine getting any kind of award through the pandemic, I would have been shocked and dumbfounded. Things looked messy for all of us in 2020 and into 2021. Our cohort, like many others, dealt with losses, moves, frustrations, joys, and a global pandemic that changed the trajectory of our lives and impacted the decisions we made. I was in a unique position during this time. Directly after I committed to the program, I found out that I would have a baby midway through the curriculum, adding to our family of three. I thought that was the biggest curveball when I started the program. But then the pandemic started and we dealt with job loss in our family directly following the birth of our daughter. My son was also home with us because of digital learning. Additionally, a year into the program, war started in Armenia and I was commissioned to help with social media marketing. I was working as a director level marketing lead, full-time postpartum with baby stuff everywhere, attempting to finish assignments and now changing social media narratives and perspectives around war disinformation. All the worlds merged as we went remote and I struggled more than I'd ever imagined. But classmates and our professors and our advisors stepped up. My husband, family, and coworkers supported. But most importantly, God stayed faithful. And now I have this award as a reflection not of my own efforts, but as a representation of how village and community triumph and give meaning, even in the face of isolation and forced distance. I'm privileged to have learned from such incredible faculty during such a pivotal moment in our history. I won't forget our reflections and dialogue on historical waves of change that will shape the future of business and community forever. To my husband, Chris, this degree is to make our collective dreams a possibility. You earned this with me. To my children, I want you to know that you are resilient and capable in Christ alone. To my family, you've always believed in us and filled all the gaps. To my cohort, thank you for being my thought partners and friends. I thank God for the unending grace and purpose that fuels me. Thank you. I'm honored to have been selected as the recipient of this year's George Award. The past year has been challenging, filled with a roller coaster of emotions and difficult to find a silver lining for many. I'm one of the lucky ones. I found mine here at the Grazia Dio School in the Masters of Real Estate program, where I've received a world-class education, made lifelong friendships, and found a resilient community here in Malibu. I'd like to thank my classmates who I will ride with until the wheels fall off. 
I think back on our first day of class often. Since we began on Zoom, first introductions were awkward and terrifying, and I imagine most of us thought it would be challenging to form meaningful relationships. It wasn't. It was organic, exciting, and educational. I have found meaning and value in relationships inside and outside of the classroom. My classmates inspire me, push me, and share this award with me. I'm so lucky to call you my peers. And finally, my professors. The great Dave Chappelle once said, the mark of greatness is when everything before you is obsolete and everything after you bears your mark. The lessons I have received over the last year will prepare me for my career ahead and the wisdom passed on to me both inside and outside of the classroom will, be, will not be forgotten. I can only imagine how exhausting teaching on Zoom can be, yet you make it look so easy while staying enthusiastic. Your patience and professionalism have not gone unnoticed. You've done an amazing job teaching during this pandemic, and I'm a product of you. I look forward to the days where we can meet face to face and not screen the screen. Thank you forever. It is truly an honor to be awarded the 2021 George Award for Outstanding MSHR Student. I am incredibly thankful to everyone I encountered on my journey at Pepperdine Grazia Dio Business School, both during my MBA and now my MSHR. From the kind and caring staff to the all-star faculty, to my incredibly impressive colleagues in my cohorts, my time as a WAVE would not have been the same without any of you. Back in 2017, I applied to the full-time MBA program on the recommendation of a fellow WAVE from a different graduate program who shared firsthand accounts of the care and support that students received throughout their academic journeys. From my first day on campus, I knew that I was no longer just a face in the classroom, as I had previously been in other programs, and that I was a vital piece in a tightly woven community where my insight was both valued and expected. Upon completion of my MBA, I truly felt as though I had the skill set needed to be a best for the world leader. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit and the opportunity arose for me to return to school, I knew that Pepperdine Grazia Dio Business School was the home I wanted to return to. My time in the MSHR program has allowed me to truly understand my future in the professional landscape as a human resources professional. My professors were there to always support me both academically and outside the virtual classroom and provided me and my entire cohort with a safe space to explore our thoughts and develop our own insights on hot ticket issues within the HR space. Although the format of this program was completely different than what anyone had initially expected, I am entirely grateful to my amazing cohort for coming together and ensuring that we still got a true Pepperdine experience, even if it meant lots of calls after class. <laughs> I am also particularly thankful to two wonderful ladies in my cohort, Maddie and Catherine, for keeping me grounded and calm throughout our 12 month journey together. I could not have done this without the two of you. I would also like to thank my support system outside of Pepperdine. My wonderful parents, siblings, and fiance were there for me every step of the way and never doubted me even when I had doubt in myself. You all are my everything and I can't wait to give back to you everything that you've given me. I am truly honored and humbled to be the Pepperdine Grazia Dio Business School's 2021 George Award recipient for Outstanding MSHR Student. Thank you. Dear Grazia Dio family, friends, Dean Van Rensburg, and our beloved student, thank you God and all of you. It is a great honor for me to receive the 2021 George Award on the behalf of the faculty the day we celebrate our dedicated students, alumni, Gracia Dio friends, and faculty who are here because of our benefactor, George and Riva Gracia Dio, and family for endowing the business school. As an immigrant from Indonesia, I'm inspired by George's mottos and always see everything as opportunity. Instead of discussing my research in corporate social responsibility, diversity, and COVID-19, I would like to reflect on what we have accomplished during the past year. When COVID-19 struck, we were tested on how to continue to honor the Gracia Dio School mission to provide the highest quality educational experience for our students and to prepare them to become the best for the world. I vividly remember my last face-to-face -face class on March 10, 2020, and the email from the university urging faculty to learn how to use Zoom to teach classes online. Fast forward, here we are holding all our classes online. It took dedication and compassion from our faculty to adapt to the technology to teach classes online. 
and perseverance and grace from our students, which reflect the positive spirits of George Gracia Dio. Today, we celebrate successes to overcome the most unpredictable challenges because we embrace George's model. We continue to be better, be resilient, and seize opportunity today, not tomorrow. Thank you to my family, to George and Riva Gracia Dio, and the Gracia Dio family, and to all of you for giving me this incredible award. Hello, I'm Kim Folsom, founder and CEO of Founders First. I'm truly, truly honored to accept the George Award from Pepperdine Grazadio Business School in recognition of our impact work at Founders First to address the social, racial, economic equity gap that has prevented diverse small business owners from becoming large job creators in their communities. This is a special recognition to me as an alumnus of Pepperdine in a few ways. First, it was as a Pepperdine MBA candidate that I gained the knowledge, courage, and confidence to launch my first entrepreneurial venture some 25 years ago. I learned to leverage this experience and energy to go on to raise over 150 million in institutional capital to support founding a total of seven high growth ventures. Second, George Pepperdine, our university's founder, stated that founding this university provided him a way to leverage his entrepreneurial talents, good fortunes, and blessings from God to better the lives of thousands of future students and graduates. His vision was to inspire the value-driven leaders Third, I was fortunate to have had parents that have installed in me three key values, a strong faith in God, a commitment to serve my community, and nonstop work ethic. I leveraged these values along with key fundamental skills I gained from my Grazadillo graduate school experience, as well as 25 years of entrepreneurial expertise, learnings, and resources in a way that I hope would provide a level of leadership stated in the vision set forth by both George Pepperdine and George Grazadillo. For through my work at Founders First, I'm seeking to pay it forward and inspire the next generation of diverse founders, leaving small businesses to become value-driven leaders and make an economic impact in their communities. I would like to thank my family, the Founders First team for working tirelessly to help our founders transform, sustain, fund, and grow their businesses, even in this crazy pandemic environment. I accept this award with deep gratitude to our inclusive 400 plus companies led by an amazing group of diverse founders that include women, people of color, military veterans, and members of the LGBT community and other underserved communities. I also congratulate other winners of this prestigious George Award in recognition of their integrity, stewardship, compassion, and entrepreneurial spirit. Finally, I thank my board of advisors, investors, advocates who continue to support the Founders First mission. Thank you. This means so much. Wow, I can't believe I'm standing here to receive this unbelievable award. First, let me tell you a little bit about my family. My wife, Maureen Mo, yes, very Irish, and me, a German World War II kid, immigrated to the States with our parents while we were in our teens and are celebrating our 61st wedding anniversary this year. This leads to another celebration. Our two children in their 50s, five grandkids that are in their 30s with their spouses, and two great grandkids, five and six years old. We are living the American dream, but it sure took a while. Having been part of two monumental US technology epochs, the Apollo moon landing in the late 60s, followed by the development of the global positioning system, GPS in the mid 70s, although very exciting for me, took its toll on young families, daddy never being home. Our young kids sometimes would ask my wife, who is the fourth dinner plate for? Contrary to the Apollo days, however, the GPS epoch had a silver lining. Uh, 40 years after the launch of the first GPS satellite in 1978, I, along with three colleagues, won the 2019 Queen Elizabeth Prize for Engineering for the development of the global positioning system. 
including prize money and considerable media coverage. All things considered, my wife and I made sure that everything would turn out well for my family, mostly thanks to my wife. Our two kids and five grandkids all have college degrees, with most of them at the master's level. In 2005, at the age of 65, while busy consulting with, via the Hugo Fruhoff company, I became aware of Pepperdine's MBA PKE program, designed to attract G CEOs, VPs, and the like, designed to go back to school for a graduate degree. I wondered if I could qualify. After many Pepperdine interviews, lasting over a month or more, I finally met with Dr. David Smith, who granted me entry to the PKE 117, and in doing so, it has absolutely changed my life forever. Thank you, David. At graduation in 2007, one of my PKE professors, Dr. Terry Young, proposed that I join the Pepperdine team as an adjunct professor in the graduate programs, teaching global economics and international business. And this out of the blue fulfilled another lifelong dream of mine to become a professor, now no longer just focusing on building things, but also building minds. It actually surprised me how much of my previous business experience was easily convertible to my class curriculums. Periodic meetings with Dr. Terry Young, Dr. Mark Mellinger, and Dr. David Ralph helped me transition to the swing of things of a professor. It is my 12th year teaching in the graduate programs. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Now, as for this award, I'm absolutely speechless. This marks the 13th George Awards event sponsored by the Grazadillo Board for the Pepperdine Grazadillo Business School. While this is our first digital event, the high esteem our board holds for this event remains unchanged. Our board, created by George Grazadillo 25 years ago, recognizes this event as the pinnacle of how we can honor the best of the best. As a recipient of the George Awards, please cherish this award as recognition of your excellence in your selected areas of study, achievements. It matters not that there is an absence of our traditional dinner celebration for this award ceremony. For when this COVID pandemic clears, you will each be invited back for our next George Awards event. Because from this moment forward, you are now members of the George Awards family not to be forgotten. As my wife so eloquently stated, she wishing her father could be here, I would suggest that whatever your beliefs may be, I know George and his wife Reva smile down from the heavens when this event occurs because he wouldn't miss such a cherished event that honors his Grazadio students, faculty, and alumni who have supported what he would refer to as his little school over in Malibu. I want to thank our George Awards event title sponsor, Penta Building Group, for their generous and continuing sponsorship of our George Awards events. Not only do we have two distinguished representatives from Penta on our board who contribute their time and energy, but their companies financially makes this event possible. And for this, the Grazadillo board is very grateful. I would also like to thank all those responsible for making this digital event possible. From Dean Van Rensburg, Elizabeth Goodwin, Christine Bishop, and Michael Menekeni, and all the video people that spent their time in filming this, to all of you on behalf of the board, I would say thank you. I'd like to simply close this event with repeating the name of your school. As they would say in Italian, grazie a Dio. And please remember what this means, thanks to God. For I say grazie Dio for all of you and for what you have achieved. And on behalf of our Grazadio board, I say congratulations and great continued success to each of you.